This setting right here is amazing. Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. Today, I'll be taking a look at Workout Slicer's latest version 2.2 RC, which is release candidate. Let's scratch today's topic. This version of Workout Slicer has been out for a week, but there were many things that I gotta take it off and I did not quite get to Workout Slicer's latest version, but today I will get to that. So there was a beta 2 and then the RC version. Not much to talk about anymore, so let's just hop over to Workout Slicer and see what kind of things they are giving to us. We are now in GitHub Orca Slicers. So let's take a look at the version 2 beta first, quickly go over it, and then we will look at the RC version. The version 2.2 beta 2, they add supports for texture cool plate, just like this. So if you change the build plate type here, it's gonna change that, so it's really cool. Improve fuzzy skin with modifier. If we take a look at this, they add this fuzzy skin modifier and it's just this part. So when we scroll down, we look at this. So before it does this, right? And now it does this. So it's so much better. It doesn't have this cut off inside, which kind of ruins the print if you think about it when it prints everything. And it just looks bad overall. And maybe it might take more time, but not quite sure about that. I have not tested this one yet. But if we look at the now right here on the right side, the infield is using form and then it just gives the fuzzy skin on the parts that was highlighted over another one is feature move plate to the front which is cool because if you are a person that wants to add multiple build plates you would actually want this but they say here just a heads up you will need a bit of sokoban game skill yeah <laughs> so like it's moving it's moving the plate here and there it, it might be a little confusing but it's good that they have it you can use data dri folder if it exists under application path what is this? If a folder named data DRI under the application path orca, we'll use it as the data directory. Oh, okay. Not sure what this is actually about, but maybe there were problems involving this. It's good that they fix it. And they fix bugs and stuff like that, add new things. Arcane one top wall fix and refactor. Nice. So many things. And scroll all the way down, you see the contributor and then you can download it. Okay, now let's go back and let's go to Orca Slicer version 2.2 RC release. So this one has been released a week ago and I have not got the time to cover it, but let's do it right now. Major bug fix. So they fix wipe tower related bugs found in beta. Amazing, that's why they do beta testing. Fixed a bug that the new fuzzy skin algo introduced in beta 2 may overshoot Z range. Nice, look at that. They fixed the new fuzzy skin again before they released the version. Okay, let's zoom in here a little bit. QOL feature. Yes, I love this one. Look at this. Shows extruder's value on filament setting override tab. Before it does this. So every single time I go to the setting override here, the retraction, it just shows this. And A and A and A and A. It doesn't show the value or it doesn't show the default value. But now it does. Thank you, Orca Slicer. So now I will definitely know what my length retraction is. My Z Hub retraction. My Z Hub type. Oh my gosh, this is so nice because when you click length, it doesn't show you anything. You just put a random number in there and you don't even know what the original is. So it's so nice that they have this now. Retraction speed, you can see it now. Ah, this is amazing. Before here, it says NA. So I think that it was just like disabled. It doesn't even retract or stuff like that. But yes, let's go. Oh, this is so amazing. Various bug fix. Export negative parts. Porting from Prusa, exporting negative parts. So before this, one, two, three. After, and it does that. It looks like this block here was not imported correctly. This cube has a tab up here, or like this connector. And then this cube has a hole. But for this one, it doesn't have anything. So nice that they fix it. Support multi line. Process information rendering. Nice. Fix CLI, fix an exception when parsing scale params. Fix an issue that if Orca was invoked by a social file, local data during was not used. Okay, nice. And some other changes that they do. Okay, that's very nice. Oh, and look at this, look at this. Add Creality K1SE, K2 plus CRM4. Oh my gosh. This is by Kochi Coder. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I mispronounce your name that is so amazing the k2 plus is not even out but they already have it oh yeah okay so scroll all the way down see the contributor assets you can download it linux mac window and just all of the supports this is amazing well as you saw there walker slicer's version 2.2 rc release 
is quite amazing. In this version 2.2, they added the custom fuzzy skin. They also added setting numbers and setting override, which is nice. Because before, I could not even see the value, so I don't even know what the retraction speed is. There's no way I'm going to be able to test that in order the retraction amount in order the speed. But now, they add the numbers and we know what it is now, which is a plus plus plus. Man, Orca Slicer just keep getting better and better. But anyway, that'll be it for this video of me covering the RC release version of Orca Slicers. And I'll be covering Orca Slicers, the full release of the version 2.2 if you want to stay attuned for that subscribe to the channel because i believe that version is coming really soon and that video will be dropping as soon as that update drop if nothing else get in the way but that will be it for this video thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments down below what do you think about orca sensor version 2.2 of the beta release 2 and the rc version just let me know in the comments down below leave a like subscribe to the channel and as always keep on 3d printing